Tonight, the story of Bahama Paradise. We take a look at the crazy story of this cruise line coming up right after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And in this video, this is a mini documentary about Bahama Paradise. The history of Bahama Paradise. We're going to dive into almost every section of Bahama Paradise from its beginnings all the way to the modern era. So please come along as we dive into Bahama Paradise. Now in order to really start our story, we have to go all the way back to late 2008 for a cruise line called Celebration Cruise Line. This cruise line offered two night cruises beginning in 2009 out of Port of Fort Everglades. Now where our story picks back up in 2009 is with the Bahama Celebration, which was a former cruise ferry built in 1981 and then it was converted into a modern cruise ship in 2008. And uh, well, nothing really big happened with this cruise line for the next two years until 2010. Then Celebration Cruise Line announced it would be moving to the port of West Palm Beach due to uh, many competitors in the larger cruise industry in Port Everglades. Now why they picked the Port of West Palm Beach was because it had a passenger terminal that was built to accommodate smaller ships. And well back in 2010 they announced that they would stop sailings to Nassau, Bahamas and instead they would move their sailings to Freeport, Bahamas. Now from 2010 to 2014 Bahama Celebration kept on sailing without any problems but on October 31st 2014 the Bahamas celebration struck a very unknown object while departing Freeport creating a small hole in the ship's hull but luckily none of the passenger and crew were harmed in this event and after that Bahama celebration was no more until 2015. Now this is where our story picks back up with the company. The company, as you all know, Celebration Cruise Line went out of business in 2014, but in 2015, Bahama Paradise was mostly owned by a family of the former Norwegian Cruise Line president and CEO, Kevin Sheehan. And they started their first ever cruise on February 3rd but th that date wasn't exactly the first date of the cruise line due to some technical difficulties the first ever voyage leaving February 1st was cancelled and it was replaced by a sailing on February the 3rd now what you may be thinking is the grand celebration the same ship as the Bahama celebration it is not my friends the grand celebration was a ship built for Carnival in 1986. The celebration began operating under Carnival Cruise Line for over 20 years until it was retired from Carnival in 2008 and entered service and the name was changed to the Grand Celebration in the summer. This dry dock and refurbishment included new hull artwork and updated interior cabins. And then in May 2014, this is where our story picks right back up with Bahama Paradise. This was announced that the ship would be renamed the Costa Celebration and transferred to Costa. And then right before it was supposed to embark on its first ever voyage, they announced that the this ship was sold to an unnamed buyer. The next day, the Costa celebration was removed from Costa's fleet and all bookings were canceled. And then on the 23rd of December in 2014, it was revealed that the ship was purchased by a newly formed cruise line, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, which would use the grand celebration and sail out of the port of West Palm Beach starting in 2015. And well, the grand celebration kept on sailing until something else happened with the company in 2017. Bahama Paradise announced in 2017 
that they have bought the former Costa Neo Classica. Now this ship was a former Costa ship and was built by an Italian company in 1991. On board her there were two restaurants nine bars two swimming pools and four whirlpools now our story picks right back up with bahama paradise in august 2nd 2017 when costa announced that the vessel has been sold to an unnamed buyer and will leave the costa fleet in march 2018 and two months later it was announced that bahama paradise has bought the grand classica now with bahama paradise over the years they had offered many human relief efforts full of relief supplies bring much needed aid to those people who so desperately need it this will be the first cruise ship the celebration pool dock in hurricane ravaged grand bahama the many relief efforts include such as in 2017 when they have rented the ship to fema for the hurricane relief in saint thomas as a hotel also they have chartered the ship for doing humane missions to grand bahamas due to the major hurricane doreen and speaking of doreen right after this hurricane passed a few months later Bahama Paradise announced that the Grand Classica would be leaving doing free port itineraries and will be spicing it up and offering two night cruises to Nassau, Bahamas. So that is it for right now in Bahama Paradise. This cruise line is still evolving and who knows what it will be like in 10 years. Who knows, it could be the next carnival or Royal Caribbean or even Norwegian. Thanks for watching this documentary and uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you guys did, please hit my subscribe button right down below and smash the notifications bell because I got more amazing cruising content coming out every single week. But guys, until the next time, we're back here right together. I am Tyler and you are watching The Tyler Show, guys.